Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have already imported the files required for this project, you can download them from below link in the description. Now let's see how to create this trailer title, create a new composition, name it as trailer title. For this composition, I will set time duration to just 5 seconds, remaining everything will be same. Now create a new solid name it as background, make sure color is set to black. Now again create a new solid. This will be a noise layer. Now in effects and preset, search for fractal noise, add it to the noise layer. For fractal noise, set fractal type to dynamic twist. Slightly increase the contrast. Set brightness to minus 50. Now in transform, uncheck uniform scaling, now increase the scale value as shown. Set it to near about 500. Now increase the scale height, set it to near about 2000 plus. Set rotation to 85 degrees. Set complexity to 2. For evolution, Let's set time expression, while pressing ALT key, click on stopwatch of evolution, now enter, time, 100. You can see the preview. Perfect. Here for this noise layer, you can add the color aroma, or in effects and preset, search for hue and saturation. Add it to the noise layer. Select Colorize, set Saturation to 100. You can see the preview, now in Effects and Preset. Search for Fast Box Blur, add it to the Noise Layer. For Fast Box Blur, set Blur Radius to 100. Set Iteration to 1. Select Repeat Edge Pixels, here you are free to increase the Blur Radius. Here I will set it to near about 700. You can see the preview. Fi noise layer. Change mode to screen. Perfect. Now let's add the text layer. Here you can add the text of your choice. Here I will be using Unisans font family, font style to bold italic. Let's align the text to center. Depending on your text, here you can increase or decrease the font size. Perfect. Now from project panel, let's add the transition media file to the timeline. For this transition, change the mode to silhouette alpha. Select transition and text layer. Pre-compose them. Name it as text. Open the text composition. Here for this transition layer. We need to change the mode to silhouette luma. Perfect. You can see the preview. Now in the main composition. Let's increase the scale value for the text composition. Set scale to 200%. Now add the particle zero media file to the timeline. Place it below text composition. Now change mode to add. Change track mat to alpha mat text. 
you can see the preview. For this particle file, in effects and preset, search for glow, add it to the particles media file. Set glow threshold to 13%. Here you can increase the scale value for particles media layer. Now select both particles and text media file, create duplicate. For above particle, in effects and preset, search for hue and saturation, add it to the particles layer, select colorize. Set hue to, 24. Set saturation to, 67. You will get the orange color. Place the glow below. Here you are free to create duplicate of the glow or you can skip it. For above particle I will set opacity to 80%. Now let's again add the text composition to the timeline. For this text layer, in effects and preset, search for Vegas, add it to the text composition. For Vegas, in image contour, change channel to, alpha. Set segment to, 1. Set segment distribution to, bunched. Change the color as shown. Change blend mode to transparent. Set width to, 4. Now in effects and preset, Search for glow. Add it to the text composition. Set glow threshold to 35%. Here you can see our background text is not at the center. You can position it to the center or you can align the text directly to the center. Now again add the text composition to the timeline. For Saba text, change mode to add. For above text composition, go to layer style, select gradient overlay. Now in gradient overlay, let's edit the gradient color. Here you need to change color and create color stopper as shown. Perfect. Here you can also set the angle for gradient. Perfect. Now again add the text composition to the timeline. For text composition, from layer style, select bevel and emboss. In bevel and emboss, Change shadow color, as shown. Now set size to, 8. Set depth to, 1000%. In blending option, in advanced blending, set fill opacity to, 0%. For text composition, change mode to, add. Now add the particle 1 media file to the timeline. Change mode to, add. You can see the preview. Now add the particle 2 media file to the timeline. Change mode to, add. You can see the preview. Now add the flare media file to the timeline. Change mode to, add. Now create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset, search for camera lens blur. Add it to the adjustment layer. 
Now at 10 frames. Change blur radius to 30. Create keyframe for blur radius. Select repeat edge pixels. Now come 5 frames backward. Change blur to 0%. Now go at 1 second. Press U to view keyframes. Change blur to 5. Now go 10 frames forward. Change blur to 0. Now add 4 seconds and 10 frames. Create keyframe for blur. Now move 10 frames forward. Change blur to 10. Now change particle and text to 3D. Perfect. Now let's create a new camera. Place it below adjustment layer. Now create a new null object. Change null to 3D. Parent camera to null object. For null, press R to bring up rotation. Now at near about 3 seconds and 15 frames. Create keyframe for Z rotation. Now at start. Change rotation to 25 degree. Now at end of the timer line. Change rotation to minus 60 degree. Now select the keyframe change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Perfect. Here you are free to adjust the rotation angle. Perfect. Now press P to bring up position. Now at near about 2 seconds and 15 frames. Create keyframe for position. Now at start. Reduce the position value for z-axis as shown. You can see the preview. Now at end of the timer line, increase the position value as shown. Select keyframe. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Adjust the speed graph as shown. You can see the preview. Now let's see the complete preview. Similarly, you can create multiple title and create your trailer. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial, see you next week with another awesome tutorial.